So in this part, we will discuss about uh, the DPM particles, like the water vapor will be the DPM particles, and those DPM particles, um, we will just draw it for you. Stuff. So now these will be the DPM particles that will be placed. All these DPM particles will be initiated inside the headlamp, which are nothing but H2O molecules. And due to the temperature gradient, so these particles start to move and also due to the Schaffman lift forces and all other molecular level forces. And once these particles reaches the surface of the whole part or filament, they will get absorbed. And these particles absorbed will start forming Eulerian wall film. Eulerian wall film on the surface and when this Eulerian wall film crosses a certain limit it will be turned into volume of fraction because at lower Eulerian wall film fractions turning into VOF is not accurate so VOF need to have a certain limit in order to so if, if you take this as a cell so view of fraction should be certainly some extent in order to have a clear cut interface between two faces but if it's too small then you cannot have that view of fraction properly captured that is the reason why we'll have this dpm to eulerian and from eulerian to vof so this is a methodology what we intend to follow in order to properly capture the wall film thickness or the water film thickness okay so first I will act with uh, the tangent simulation with y as minus 9.81 then go to models, go to multiphase so I activate the mixture model, implicit body force for stability click uh, start what is first, apply close now go to discrete phase model on this right ok now go to injection create so I will be selecting the inert injection ok uh, so I will click right now ok I will check come again and modify those things so now go to materials create fluent database in this inert particle if you come down you will see water liquid copy close close and uh, you go to mixture phase 1 is air liquid you just go to this uh, injections 0 and instead of anthracite it is water liquid okay so now we will have a volume injection with starting points of cell as 1 right and I uh, will create only a single time step 1 e power minus 8 right and this has the diameter which is uh, 100 uh, sorry it's like we will give 10 microns 0 1 so 10 microns ok select this volume friend so on the total volume which is present inside the filament those will be fired with a water molecules with 10 micron diameter for one time step only so it is like initializing the total uh, volume with the number of particles click ok then you can go to make sure place interaction so you so 
you need to activate all the other forces physical models have to lift force so we haven't activated the energy we need to activate the energy also let's activate these forces thermophoretic force happened before virtual force, force and pressure gradient force click ok auto mixtures and we haven't given this uh, primary water liquid we need to give the water liquid water flow in database flow in database fluid and water liquid copy This is liquid phase, we will keep it as L. Close, close. And one is air, and the other is water liquid. Apply. The phase tension modeling, validation, and give a constant of 0 0.072. Apply. Part. Low to temperature is 278. Apply. Filament. Thermal heat flux is 7000. Apply. Close and uh, we also need to activate the learning wall film. Activate it. Solve momentum, energy, and DPM coupling. And use particle stripping and slow smoothing. Pressure gradient also, surface tension. Filling material is water liquid. Okay. And this you can leave default. This is the maximum thickness. After that, it will turn into years. Just verify everything. You want if you can activate the district random walk model. Walk model not mixture, that is uh, one thing I need to correct myself. So click apply. On applying, you'll be getting the model transition. In the model transition, maybe we can change these names. We'll change it as air and this as to water. Apply the model transition. So we'll click from transition phase. Volume balancing the Eulerian uh, phase is here. Because from your water, uh, some of the part will be removed, right? And that part need to be replaced with air. So that is the reason we are keeping. So that is from uh, DPM to WOF what we need to bother yeah so this you can keep in this uh, default settings so these, these are the settings when you want the particles without secondary breakup particles with secondary breakup all these values you can keep so here from water is a transition phase uh, so once it is reaching that uh, BPM is reaching a certain limit then it will be turning into water and that will be balanced with the air close it you can just verify all the settings and you can after that
list coupling and view of coupling so volume fraction as a transition base okay then we can go to initialize there is no water volume fraction initially we'll just have to to initialize then you can see to the graphics particle tracks there will be no particle tracks initially now we need to run with 1 e power minus 8 as my time step I will run for a few times then you can see So after running through few, I will just read the result data also. I have ran through few time step, it took me some time. How the result files will look after running through few time steps. Where to give this uh, uterian wall film options on the cool part and the film part on the wall? So, you need to go to wall film and you need to mention the boundary condition. And after that, in DPM interaction, this is default model, but in the view of interaction, you need to add this film to O of 0 0.5. So, uh, uterian wall film will be turned into V of once it reaches 0 0.5 as a criteria, and volume will, uh, volume fraction will be turned into film if it is less than 0 0.01 mm as the thickness. So this is the criteria so what we need to mention on any wall. Right, so after that I'll just show you particle tracks how it will look like after running through a few time steps. Maybe I'll take the velocity magnitude. It's taking some time to load. You can see the velocity magnitude is different in different cases. This is a cold part, so there is a huge velocity magnitude to the attraction of the particles. And here, you, maybe I'll zoom in for your convenience and I'll show it to you. So you can see there is a velocity gradient huge at the filament area also due to the temperature or thermophoretic forces. And these are all the particles. Right, so this is near to the filament area. You can see the shape, right? This is a filament shape. And apart from that, if you want to observe the Eulerian wall film thickness, you can just go to the Eulerian wall film. Then you can click uh, display. So uh, you can decrease to one other magnitude value and you can see all the Eulerian wall film thickness you can observe. Right, so you can see that Eulerian wall film value. And if you can decrease through a bit level more, so you can see this is a Eulerian wall flip that has been deposited onto the cold area or filament area and anything. So this is where how we can have the particle to Eulerian wall film, Eulerian to wall film to view of approach. So we can have that approach in this particular procedure. Hope you understood. And if you have any queries, you can uh, drop a mail to my mail ID which is linked into the description section. Thank you.